Well, let's see what our friends are up to. Oh, oh no. Special way to make Thanksgiving more exciting. Oh. Gilbert, you bring in a turkey in with your hands, special enough. Now get it off your head, please. Uh, all right. Gilbert, this turkey is colder than Grandma's toes at the end of the month. Oh. Yeah, well, it was too hot to carry when when it was done, so I waited a couple of hours. <laughs> Gilbert, that turkey is done for. Uh. Uh. Isn't that well past the point? No, Gilbert, it's no good. You'll get sick if you eat that cold turkey now. Oh no, oh, it's not contagious. Anyway, Gilbert, I'm not waiting for the turkey to get cold just so you can carry it on your head. Hi, y'all. Where is everyone? No, <laughs> oh, wait, here they are. Hello. Hi. Uh, I'm glad everyone can make it. Where's the test turkey? It is right here, Uncle Ernest. Okay, good. Now, nobody eat it. It's past due. We're just using it for rehearsal today. I fell asleep waiting for it to cool down, and that was mighty good, but I'll get everyone's burgers from Dynamite Daniels afterwards. All right, everyone gathered around the table to prepare for Thanksgiving rehearsal with a Bible verse to offer and what they're thankful for. My family and I would like to start with a special song on Thanksgiving. And this verse started the tradition when my grandmother was little. I will praise God's name in song and glorify him with Thanksgiving. Psalm 69, 30. What's the song? It's a family secret, Gilbert. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. I pick this verse to remind others to see the bright side in all bad situations instead of completely dwelling in it. it reminds me of the time when my pa had ten things due all at once and he was really upset when he saw the good side. I was late. My dad gets upset right before he pays bills and then... Oh, he didn't pay them. He just put them under the short leg of the table so we can eat sweet peas properly. Oh, um, okay. Psalm 104, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. I love that thanksgiving brings us into the presence of God. Very nice, everyone. Now here's mine. Matthew 13, 16. But blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear. I'm thankful every day that I have these, especially now at my age. Ugh, I have a verse. Huh? Speak up! You're too far away! Me, <laughs> Uncle Ernest, I'm right in front of you. Oh, sorry. Please continue. Psalms 89:52. Praise be to the Lord forever. Amen, amen. I picked this one because I know after I hear amen, I'm going to eat, and that makes me very thankful. Very good job, everyone. Now let's go on to Dynamite Daniels for some burgers. Oh, the Thanksgiving after would be a great success with giver balancing a can of cranberry sauce instead of turkey. Oh, uh, you guys should see me balance a pizza box. It's my specialty, but my mom always makes me take a bath and then she cuts my hair. I guess that explains why my hair never gets longer. Oh, 